as we have collected the data from the field with the help of digital satellite so we have plotted the one traverse with five sides p q r s t so we observed the interior angles of the traverse p this is the value 126 degrees 7 minute and 26 second similarly the five angles were recorded in the field then after this we did the sum of these angles this the sum of these internal angle is 536 degree 56 minutes and 49 seconds so as we did in the compass survey the sum of the interior angles must be equal to by this formula as you can see over 2n minus 4 into 90 degree where n is number of sides so in this we have the five sides the sum of the internal angle must be equal to 540 degree so we have calculated the internal angles the observed values you have seen on the table observed value of angle is 536 degree 56 minute and 49 second but according to rule it should be 540 degree so here we have to observe what is the error error will be given by the observed value minus correct value so this is the observed value this is the actual value that should be there according to this the error will be it is 33 degree 3 minute and 11 seconds so we have to apply a correction of plus 3 degree 3 minutes and 11 seconds but in our case we have the five angles so this total correction is divided by 5 this comes to be 36 minute and 38 second but there is a remainder of 1 second so in the in these five angles we can adjust the error, correction as 36 minute and 38 second what there is a remainder of 1 second so in the biggest angle we can adjust it 0 degree 36 minute and 39 second so here you can see on the table we have the correction in the first angle is more here the correction applied is 0 degree 36 minute and 39 second in the remainder remainder all angles we adjusted the correction as 0 degree 36 minute and 38 second now this sum must be equal to the applied error so error is this much and we applied this correction after this the corrected angles are like this so these are the observed value plus correction this is the corrected and included angle now we have calculated the all corrected angles the sum is now satisfy the condition of 2n minus 4 right angle so here the corrected angle values are here and in the field we have measured the all sides of the traverse so you can see the length pq 37.42 meter qr 38.38 rs 32.05 meter st 47.05 meter and tp 43.26 meter the perimeter of these the sum of the sides is 198.16 meter and then we have observed in the field the <coughs> bearing of a line pq this is the four bearing of the line pq that is observed with the help of a prismatic compass that is is equal to 299 degree 30 minute and 0 second this is the four bearing of line pq four bearing of line pq we have observed from the field you have drawn the sketch according to the data you had recorded so first of all we draw the four bearing of line pq this is the angle of 299 degree 30 minutes of four bearing of line pq so 
So now we have to calculate its back bearing. This is the back bearing of this uh, line P go. This is traversely tra tra treated anticlockwise. So then you can know very well the difference between the fore bearing and back bearing is 180 degree. Now to deduct 180 degree from this fore bearing, the result will be the back bearing of line PQ. So this is 119 degree 30 minute and 00, 00 second. So this is the back bearing of the line PQ. Now after this bearing, you add this angle. This angle is Q. This Q, the value of Q angle is, is, is the correct value 89 degree 52 and minute and 43 second. You add this. Now this back bearing plus this angle, this will total gives me the four bearing of line QR. So now you can see after addition of this, this is the four bearing of line QR. That is 209 degree 22 minutes and 43 seconds. Again, similar way, this is the four bearing of line QR. This is the four bearing of line QR. Its back bearing we can calculate again by deducting the 180 degree because the sum of 209 degree 22 minutes and 43 seconds is more than 180. So that is why we are going to deduct 180 degree. So after deducting, this will give me the back bearing of line QR. So this is the back bearing of line QR, 29 degree, 22 minute and 43 second. Again, you add this angle. This angle is the angle R. After adding this angle in this, so 131 degree, 55 minute and 35 second, this will give me the four bearing of line RS. Here you can see, this is the four bearing of line RS. So again, similarly, we can again from the four bearing of back bearing by adding 180 degree. This will give me the sum of 341 degree 18 minute and 18 second. So this is the back bearing of line RS. So this is the back bearing of a line RS. You can see from here. For this angle is the back bearing of line RS. Again, you add this angle S, the correct value of angle S. The correct value of angle S is 107 degree, 18 minutes and 2 seconds. After addition of this, you can see the result. This will be 448 degree, 36 minutes, 20 seconds. This, this completes the whole circle. You can see from here, this north line. This complete the whole circle. After addition of this angle, this is more than 360 degree. So the sum is more than 360 degree. Now you can deduct 360 degree from it. This and this will give me the forbearing of line ST. This angle is the forbearing of line ST. That is 88 degree 36 minutes 20 seconds. After this, this is the forbearing. Now you have to. Uh, Add 180 degree for calculating the back bearing of line ST. So this will be the four bearing. Now add this will give you the back bearing of line ST. This comes to be one back bearing of line ST 268 degree 36 minute and 20 seconds. This is the back bearing of line ST. Now you add this angle. This angle is T. The correct value of angle T is 84 degree 9 minute and 35 seconds. So after this addition, we will get four bearing of line TP 352 degree 55 minute and 55 second. This is the four bearing of line TP. So from this four bearing, again you deduct 180 degree, this will provide me the back bearing of line TP. This is the back bearing of line TP. This is equal to this 172 degree, 45 minutes and 55 seconds. After this, you can add this correct angle P. So after addition of this correct value of angle P, 126 degree, 44 minutes and 5 seconds. This will give me the four bearing of line PQ. This is equal to 299 degree 30 minute and zero second. 
from here we have started this is this close over here so we can say this belly value tallies hence our result is correct because we have started from the forbearing of line pq after closing this this comes to be the same and it tallies so our result is correct so this is again the repetition of the process of calculating the forbearing and back bearing of the truss lines after this calculation of forbearing and back bearing of the lines you can put the bearings of the truss in this form so we have calculated these bearings you have seen these are the bearing of the lines this is the observed in the field this we have calculated the bearing with the help of included corrected values after this this is the bearing of line pq this is the length this be observed in the field length of the line pq 37.42 meters so similarly after this we have to calculate the reduced bearings of the lines from this whole circle bearing we have calculated the reduced bearing of the line pq that is north 60 degree 30 minutes best so similarly 209 degree 22 minute and 43 second it is lies in the third quadrant so this is southwest quadrant its value is 29 degree 22 minute and 43 second west and similarly 161 degree 18 minute 18 second this lies in the second quadrant southeast its value is 18 degree 41 minute and 42 seconds east so similarly for the line st this is less than 90 it lies in the northeast quadrant its value will be same 88 degree 36 minute 20 second and the last one this is the bearing whole circle bearing of line tp it lies in the northwest quadrant its value is 7 degree 14 minute and 5 seconds so this is the way we have calculated the reduced bearing of the lines of the truss and then we are going to complete Now we are going to calculate the latitudes and departures from the length of lines and reduced bearing of lines. This is the L length of the line. This is the angle theta. So for this, I have given you some demo over here. So latitude and departure, these are the parallel distance toward the north south. Similarly, departures are the perpendicular distance to the north south line. So here I will give you one example. Now I am going to calculate the latitudes of line PQ. So length of the line is 37.42 meters. It is multiplied the cos of reduced bearing. That is cos of 60 degree 30 minutes. 60 degree 30 minutes. And this after come calculation this comes to be 18.43 meters okay similarly departure for this line so length of the line 37.42 into sine of 60 degree 30 minutes Thika? so this comes to be 33.56 33.56 so it is very much important because we have taken the length of line pq it will when we are considering the length of line pq it will gives us the latitude and departure of point q so here i have marked this point q over here from this length and this value of theta it will gives me the latitude and departure of point Q. I will record the so now here it lies in north. Latitude in the north direction will be positive. It will be in the north column and departure in the west column. It will be negative. So similarly, I will calculate over here the latitude and departure of point R for this length will be 38.38 meters into 
cos of 29 degree 22 minute and 47 seconds its result will be here then for departures length is 33 8.38 meters into sine of 29 degree 22 minute 47 seconds similarly i will calculate the latitude and departure of r s and p point so this result after calculation i have put over here you can see these are the results of the latitudes and departures of the different line so one thing is very important you should be taken mind consider for this when you are going to calculate the latitude and departures of line p q means length of the line p q will be considered and latitude and departure of the point q will be it will be in the north direction it will be in, in the north and it is west and its departure will be recorded in west 32.56 so here i have written that this is 32.56 okay then when we are considering the length of line qr it will provides us the latitude and departure of point r so here the column will be south and west so you will record the latitude in the south column departure in the west column then next when we are considering the length rs latitude and departure of point s will be entered in the column of south and east over here this is the column east over here okay then when we are considering the length st it will provide me the latitude and departure of point t it will be entered in the north column and east column and the last point that is tp it will provide me the latitude and departure of point p i have taken this point p on the above side so its column will be north and west it is in the north this is in the west after the calculation of these consecutive coordinates or we can say latitude and departures so the values in the north will be positive south will be negative east will be positive and west will be negative now sum up of this northing must be added then southing must be added then easting and westing from these we can calculate the what is error over here so here you can see the sum of the northing that is 62.50 and southing 63.80 easting 57.31 and westing 56.88 so here we can calculate the what is the error because the sum of the northing must be equal to sum of the southing sum of the easting must be equal to sum of the westing for this we can calculate the error and we will compensate the the required correction in the latitude and departure so we have calculated the corrections in latitudes and departures by bodich rule so these i have filled on the gilt ross table so these are the errors total error that is minus its correction will be positive now i put it in the positive column correction applied is in the positive column so this i have calculated by the bodich rule as the calculation i have shown over here so in the spectral lines so here correction for the point p is 0.28 q is 0.24 and so on so this total correction is done plus 1.3 in the north column and similarly the correction done in the let departure that is total is plus 0.48 so by the calculation this by the bodich rule i put it in the negative minus column because here error is plus so i apply i applied the correction in the west column as in negative 
so after this this is very important now when we are going to calculate the corrected coordinates here for point p it is 42.92 so here you add point to it because north and north north both are same column so its corrected coordinate will be 43.2 okay i added this 42.92 plus this similarly here this coordinate is in the north column this correction is in the north both are positive add it and write down over here now see in the next column this coordinate of latitude is south it is negative what correction is positive so take the difference of these two so from this you deduct this and this total will come to in the south column so 33.44 minus 0.26 it will come to in the same column south column similarly here 30.36 correction is positive this is negative take the difference of these and this will be 30.36 minus 0.21 it comes in the same south column similar here it is in the north column so north and north will be added 1.15 plus 0.21 31 it's comes in the same column north column this is the way how we can calculate the corrected coordinates and similar we have to the corrected coordinate in the south column now we are going to the south uh, departures here departure is, is negative for point p it is point uh, it is 45.45 the correction is again it is applied in the west column because our error is plus so we apply the correction in the negative that is in the west so this is best and this one is best so both are the same nature so 5.45 plus 0.1 it's come to be in the same column 5.55 similarly this is again west 32.56 correction is in the west column both are of same nature add this 32.56 plus 0 0.09 this come to be 32.65 similarly 18.82 it is best correction is best 0 0.09 it's come to be 18.91 now you can see over here this is east for s point coordinates are in the east column this is positive 10.27 correction is minus best so 10.27 minus 0 0.09 this come to in the same column or east 10.18 so similar here for that point, point last point t 47.04 it is east positive correction is negative 0 0.11 so take the difference of this this come to in the same column east 46.93 so these are the corrected coordinates after applying the correction now do the sum of this sum of the north thing is 63.33 sum of the south thing is 63.3 these are same now the it is balanced now correction is balanced there is no error similarly in the departure column the sum of easting is sub 57.11 and similarly on the westing is 57.11 so now easting and westing northing southing are same now traverse is balanced so we have calculated the corrected consecutive coordinates of this traverse so after this we are going to plot this traverse according to the given whole circle being included angles and lengths of the sides. For that, I will fix the rank sheet. I will tell how this can be done. Now for this plotting, this is general observation. You take any point on the rank sheet, mark the north line over here. Now, you observe the bearing of the line, full circle bearing of the line PQ as 299 degree 30 minutes. So, here you mark this point P over here, okay, with the north its bearing is 299 degree, okay. So, either you take this, this is 180 degree this is 270 degree and you the 29 degree 30 minutes over here or you can take this angle as 
this come to be 60 degree 30 minutes so with the help of this protector due to mark over here and i will mark this from here zero the 60 degree 30 minutes this is 60 degree 30 minutes okay this is the point so now you can mark this line over here this is the line wearing of line pq okay so now i have to plot the traverse with the wearing of line pq and internal angles which are the corrected angles i have recorded or i have calculated so now the length of pq you select a suitable scale over here so that um, the three fourth portion of the sheet should be filled so you may it is a hit and trial method so suppose it is possible first you have selected the small scale then you have to enlarge and so we will see what is going to happen the length of this is 30 line 37.42 meters okay if i will select the scale of one ratio to 100 means one centimeter two meters so divide this by two it will give you the exact centimeter so this come to be 30 7.4 it is equal to 36.7 so 17.7 so i will cut over here so i marked that this angle as this is the varying of line pq this angle is 299 degree 30 minutes from here i cut this length 37.42 I have taken the scale is 1 ratio 200 means 1 centimeter is equal to 2 meters. So this comes to 18.7. This is the point over here. This is point Q over here. Okay. Now here you draw the internal angle. So mark 0 over here. This side over here. This is the 0 over this line. And this is the internal angle. Okay. This is the internal means this is angle Q whose corrected value is 89 degree 52 minutes. From here you can take this is 89 degree. 89 degree means 89 degree 50 means you can say it is 90. So it, it is over here. Okay. This I have marked on internal angle as 89 degree 52 minutes you draw this line okay and cut this is this is my angle q okay so from here you cut the length q r q r is 38 meter and 38.38 so this come to be 19.1 so i have cut this 19.1 this is the point over here. so here you can mark the point this is your line this is point r and similarly we can proceed so similarly i mark measure this angle r and this length is cut on the scale the similarly i measure this angle s and st line is cut on the scale and similarly over here i mark measure this angle so this truss is going to be plotted like this okay after this so now you have plotted the truss so as per the smithy other thing you can see over here so i have enough space over here to write the heading so here it is more here is less so you can adjust this now you assume this sheet as this is your north line this is your south line in first quadrant from here you can measure the coordinates of the zero zero this is your zero zero towards this you can measure the coordinates of this point how much is on the scale this length is and like this you can measure this on scale 
and you can measure this on scale okay after this measurement you can take and multiply it with the so after plotting this so you again assume this is your north line this is your east line so i assume this is the zero zero originate so i have measured from this coordinates the nearest point is point t okay so i have measured this on the scale 30 so this is 34 centimeter the t point towards it is it is 34 centimeter and towards this is, is equal to 3 centimeter so for convenience i can shift this point 2 centimeter above okay i can shift this point 2 point centimeter above so i assume this is 5 centimeter 5 centimeter towards the north this point is 5 centimeter and this is its coordinates according to this is towards east it is 34 centimeter towards the north it is 5 centimeter okay so i have selected a scale 1 centimeter is equal to 200 centimeters or we can say 1 centimeter is equal to 2 meters okay so i can in the first quadrant northeast quadrant the I, I, now I, we, are, we are going to calculate the independent coordinates the coordinates of point t are you can multiply it by 2 so this becomes 68 towards east and 10 towards north and this is similar to the x y coordinates towards x axis it is 68 towards y axis it is 10 centimeter so i have slim from for the plotting of the sheet it covers about three-fourth part of the dang sheet so scale selected one ratio 200 is correct if there is some problem according to a sheet size you can change the scale you can reduce the scale or you can enlarge, enlarge the scale now we selected the scale this is more suitable scale so i have calculated the independent coordinates of what t is 68 towards east and 10 towards north so i will make the calculation in the gales traverse table you can mo make more adjustments over here you can see how much this is about 5 centimeter over here the on the upper portion it is about uh, 20 centimeters so you can shift this traverse towards this tension so i have now make the amendment so i will shift more so instead of 10 i will take this 20 centimeters i will convert the coordinates towards north i shifted because there is more space okay so this is at the site adjustment this is no uh, any other error is there so i want to shift this point towards the north 10 centimeter more so now i have taken the coordinates independent coordinates of point t as 68 towards east and 20 towards the north side so now i will make the calculation on the grid traverse table to calculate the independent coordinates of the remaining points so we have calculated the independent coordinates of point t towards north it is 20 and towards east is 68 okay now we are going to calculate the remaining coordinates so this is the last point so now i come to the point p so these are north here the coordinates as given as 43.2 you make it round figure so this is north this is north add it up so 43 plus 28 becomes 63 okay then these are 18.67 you can make it round figure 63 plus i can take it 19 so this comes to be 82 okay same nature will be added different nature will be deducted so here you can next coordinates or point r these are in south these are with the nature of minus so 
एटी टू इज द इंडिपेंडेंट कोआर्डीनेट ऑफ पॉइंट क्यू फ्रॉम हीयर यू डिडक्ट थर्टी थ्री ओके यू डिडक्ट थर्टी थ्री दिस कम टू बी फोर्टी नाइन एटी टू माइनस थर्टी थ्री अगेन दीज आर फोर्टी नाइन अगेन यू डिडक्ट ओवर हीयर फॉर द पॉइंट एस दीज आर थर्टी दीज आर विद नेचर ऑफ माइनस सो फोर्टी नाइन माइनस थर्टी दिस कम टू बी नाइनटीन ओके दैन द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज पॉइंट टी इट्स कोआर्डीनेट्स आर विद नेचर इन नॉर्थ सो यू एड ओवर हियर नाइनटीन प्लस वन दिस इज ट्वेंटी फ्रॉम यू यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर सो दिस सैटिस्फाइज ओके सिमिलरली आई विल टेक द ईस्टिंग्स सो कोआर्डीनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट टी आर सिक्सटी एट एज वी हैव कैलकुलेट बाई प्लॉटिंग द शीट ओके सो दैन I will proceed to point P. Point P, its coordinates are 5.55. So you make it round figure. 5.56 means you take it C, six. So 68. This is minus nature in west. So these are east. 68 minus six. This come to be 62. Then there are 32.6. You can take it as 33 or 32. I will take it as 33. 33 minus 62. This come to be nine. 29. 29. Okay. Then you take it 18.9. You can take it 18. So 29 because this is minus. These are positive towards east. Okay. These are all, all are positive. So twenty nine minus you take it not nineteen you take it an eighteen. Okay. So this come to be eleven. Okay. Then this is positive eleven plus ten. Ten point eighteen you take the round figure. Eleven plus ten this becomes to be twenty one. Then these are forty seven. Forty six point nine three. You can take it round figure forty seven. Twenty one plus forty seven. This come to be sixty eight. So I mean to tell you have taken the you have calculated the independent coordinates of point T. So from the corrected conjecture coordinates, make them round figure, and same nature will be added. Different nature will be deducted. So these are the independent coordinates of the P Q R S T. Now we have to plot it according to the independent coordinates. For this, you can see how we can plot the drawing sheet. Now I fix the sheet over here. Here you will assume this as original point. Okay, towards the right hand side, this is my east direction. Towards the this line, this is my north. I mean to tell this is my first quadrant, northing and easting. Here, what you have to do, you have to make this zero and mark the points at five centimeters. So I have marked this five five centimeter like this because my scale is one ratio two hundred. So one centimeter is equal to two meters. So five centimeters. This represent ten meters. 10 meter, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70. Okay. Then to the north. Similarly, I have drawn the same graph at 5 centimeters. Means one. This division indicates 10 meters. So like this, I have marked this up to 90 meters because from here you can see what is the maximum value towards east. It is 82. I have marked up to 90. Okay. Towards Uh, east it is maximum 68 i marked up to 70 so i mean to tell you have to draw the graph over here now you can put these values on the graph first i will take the coordinates of point t it is 20 and 68 you can see over here towards north it is 20 this is the line of 20 okay then this is 60 this is 70 okay it, it means i have to take 1 cm over here 
this is the point whose coordinates are towards north it is 20 towards east it is 60 this is the point you can mark over here and this is my point t okay then similarly you go uh, start either from the bottom or from the top it is no minimum so i will take the coordinates of point p it is towards north 63 okay this is my towards north this is 60 60 means one centimeter is equal to two meters so and here this is my 60 I have to go for 62 towards east one centimeter over here I will take over here and from here this is 60 I have to take this this is the point that indicates the coordinates of the point P towards this is 60 and towards this this is 63 you can take the proportional distance this is 1.5 centimeter independence 3 meters 60 plus 3 63 towards this is 1 centimeter means 2 meters so these are the coordinates of point P you can roughly mark over here like this for your convenience then coordinates of point Q 82 towards north this is my 80 okay and the remaining is 29 from here you can take over here 80 means i will take over here the point this is the 82 and 29 half over here so this is the my point that is whose coordinates are 82 towards north and 629 towards east then next is 49 towards north 49 this is my 50 over here maybe maybe over here this is 49 towards um, 11 means towards east this is my 10th so this is the point where i can mark this this is similar to graph it is very interesting also this is that point and then then s point whose coordinates toward east it is 19 this is 20 line and towards it is 21 so 19 means one is less over and one more over here this point come to be here so these are the points i have marked by graph so you can write down their names and join them with the lines so you can see over the this so i mark the circle with the circle master as six millimeter dial so here you can write on with a small letter this is station point p this is my point q you can add this is my point r with small letters and this is my point s and this is my point t so now you can join these lines as chain lines it should not become in between the with double dots so you can use the pencil but i have used the ink for the clear visibility with two dots these lines dotted lines so this is the traverse satellite traverse that is plotted from the independent coordinates this is the way how we can complete it you can see this is one tp line then you can join this and similarly you can draw this traverse with the chain line symbol with two dots in between but you have to use the pencil here i have used the ink for clear visibility so this line should not enter in the circle so here i complete the traverse by inking the chain lines so here i complete the total project of thread traversing this traverse is plotted from the independent coordinates okay so this is the way thank you as we have collected the data from the field with the help of digital thread so 
we have plotted the one traverse with the five sides p q r s t so we observed the anterior angles of the traverse p this is the value 126 degrees 7 minute and 26 second similarly the five angles were recorded in the field then after this b did the sum of these angles this the sum of these internal angle is 536 degree 56 minutes and 49 seconds so as we did in the compass survey the sum of the anterior angles must be equal to by this formula as you can see over 2n minus 4 into 90 degree where n is number of sides so in this we have the five sides the sum of the internal angle must be equal to 540 degree so we have calculated the internal angles the observed values you have seen on the table observed value of angle is 536 degree 56 minute and 49 second but according to rule it should be 540 degree so here we have to observe what is the error error will be given by the observed value minus correct value so this is the observed value this is the actual value that should be there according to this the error will be it is 33 degree 3 minute and 11 seconds so we have to apply a correction of plus 3 degree 3 minutes and 11 seconds but in our case we have the five angles so this total correction is divided by 5 this comes to be 36 minute and 38 second but there is a remainder of 1 second so in the in these five angles we can adjust the error, correction as 36 minutes and 38 seconds what there is a remainder of 1 second so in the biggest angle we can adjust it 0 degree 36 minute and 39 seconds so here you can see on the table we have the correction in the first angle is more here the correction applied is 0 degree 36 minute and 39 second in the remainder remainder all angles we adjusted the correction as 0 degree 36 minute and 38 second now this sum must be equal to the applied error so error is this much and we applied this correction after this the corrected angles are like this so these are the observed value plus correction this is the corrected and included angle now we have calculated the all corrected angles the sum is now satisfy the condition of 2n minus 4 right angle so here the corrected angle values are here and in the field we have measured the all sides of the traverse so you can see the length pq 37.42 meter qr 38.38 rs 32.05 meters st 47.05 meter and tp 43.26 meter the perimeter of these the sum of these sides is 198.16 meter and then we have observed in the field the <coughs> bearing of a line pq this is the four bearing of the line pq that is observed with the help of a prismatic compass that is is equal to 299 degree 30 minute and 0 second this is the four bearing of line pq from then from the included angles and bearing of the line we have to calculate the bearings of other lines they, as you know very well, well we did this homework or practice in the compass survey so for that we again we are going to repeat the same you can see over here first of all you draw the line diagram of the traverse for example 
here i have the four bearing of line pq that is this one so you have observed the four bearing of this line of pq that is 299 degree and 30 minutes this is the four bearing okay so from here you can see that four bearing of pq line is observed after this observations this we did according to this formula included angle is given by four bearing of next line minus back bearing of the previous line so, so or if we want to the bearing of uh, all lines here you can see four bearing of next line is given by back bearing of previous line plus included and because in our case we have measured the bearing of line and then we have applied the uh, have the included angles for according to this formula so we have observed the four bearing of line pq so here you can see the we have the four bearing of this line this traverse is treated anti-clockwise so this angle from here to here is the four bearing of line pq so it is a very easy way to calculate the bearing of lines if you should draw the line diagram of the traverse so this is the line diagram so first of all you draw the north line and make this angle of 299 degree 30 minutes so this is the four bearing of the line. then from this four bearing we have to calculate the back bearing of line pq so back bearing of this line pq is given by deducting 180 degree you can see over here four bearing of line pq is, is 299 degree 30 minutes its back bearing will be minus 180 degree so after deducting this the back bearing of line pq is given by this 199 degree 30 minutes this is the back bearing of line pq okay after this now you have to calculate the four bearing of next line this back bearing of line pq plus this included angle is given over here so as you can see over here back bearing of this line pq plus this included angle this is the correct value of the included angle q after this addition this comes to be 209 degree 22 minutes and 43 seconds this is the four bearing of line pq in the sketch you can see the four bearing of line pq this is the four bearing of line pq okay so after similarly we have calculated the again the back bearing of line qr 